Okay guys, we are going to check the AC, the AC side. Before we start with the AC side, I, I want to mention something uh, related with the DC panel before we continue with this. I, I mentioned at the beginning that uh, today the boats are hybrids and uh, fully electric and, and the majority of the boats today, they have a lot of uh, the Victron installation with the inverter and the solar panels and all of those uh, devices. Uh, it's, uh, it's common this situation. Pay attention. I have a boat with the new technology, Victron technology, it's a solar boat. And uh, the DC panel is 12 volts. And all the equipment's electronics are DC. And uh, of course, the AC panel in my boat receive the power from an inverter, Victron inver inver inverter. And uh, that inverter convert uh, AC power coming from a group of lithium batteries uh, in, in 48 volts. 48 volts is the battery bank. And uh, in the output of that 48 volts, the system have one DC to DC converter. You remember? This resistor. And the DC, DC pass from 48 to 12. And I fit my panel from the output of that DC to DC converter. It's very common that the people say, ah, oh, I don't have power in my DC panel. And uh, traditionally, you say, okay, go to the house battery bank and verify the voltage of the battery bank. If you go today to those battery banks, those battery banks are 48 volts, for example, in that, in that example. And you say, no, I have 48 volts in the output of this uh, bank, uh, but I don't have nothing in my panel. Okay, you need to verify where is located in the distribution panel, the DC to DC converter and verify if in the output of the DC you have 12 volts. Oh no, the, excuse me, the DC to DC is activated. You see the, the, the green light? Yeah, it's, it's activated, it's green. Okay, check the output, check the output. Probably uh, you have one output or two outputs, depend on the DC to DC converter. Excuse me, I, I have a question. In the electronics, in the flybridge, you have power? Yes, I have power in the electronics, but I don't have power in the DC fan. It's probably uh, some feature in the DC to DC converter. Uh, probably the DC to DC converter is damaged. This is one possibility. Or other one is that uh, one of the fuses in the output is, is, okay? You need to verify that. I mentioned that because every day the, the boats are this type of boats, no? The traditional boats, like the previous one, every day are less, less, less popular. Okay, good. Suppose that the, the input battery bank is in 12 volts. I, I have two scenarios. One scenario with the input battery bank, uh, 12 volts, uh, two batteries uh, in parallel, each battery 100 amps. Two batteries in parallel, each battery 100 amps, uh, is 12 volts, 200 amps, okay? And what is the power produced in that battery bank? Power is voltage times intensity. Is 12 times 200, how much is? Uh, 2400 uh, watts. Yeah, watts, okay, in this battery bank. Okay, all right, great. Let me try to create another battery bank, but uh, not 12 volts, 24 volts, with, with both batteries exactly the same. Ah, okay, two batteries in series, is 24 volts, but the amps is 100. That's okay? All right, okay, what is the, the power in the second scenario in the series? 20, 24 times 100 is 2400. Oh, the power is the same in both battery banks. But uh, what is the advantage of, uh, of uh, the series with respect to the parallel or vice versa? What is the advantage of the series? How much are the amps flowing in that circuit uh, in the in the series connection? 100 amps. Uh, okay, 100 amps. And uh, what about the 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 current flowing in the parallel connection? 200 amps. All oh, right. Number one, I have more flow of amps in parallel and less flow of amps in uh, in series. Oh, okay, great. And uh, in that, that case, in parallel, I need bigger? Bigger cable. Cables. Okay. Mm, okay. Pay attention. Suppose that I have a, a, a light bulb, a light bulb, 
and the, the, the consumption of that light bulb is 100 watts. 100 watts. Excuse me. If I, I powered that light bulb from uh, the battery bank in parallel, how much is uh, the suction? How much is the suction of amps of that light bulb? The light eight bulb is uh, 12 volts. 8 amps. 8 amps. No? Okay. What happens if I connect that light bulb in the, in the series uh, bank? How much is the suction of amps? 4, Four amps. Ah, and what about if I have a battery bank 48? The suction of amps is two amps. Ah, if I have a battery bank, a battery bank bigger in voltage, at the end of the day, the consumption of the elements is lower. Oh, wow, this is very nice, no? If I have a battery bank in 12 volts with high amount of amps, when I connect the loads, the loads suction more amps. Ah. Two important things. The bigger the, the voltage of the battery bank, the smaller the, the gauge of the wires, and less consumption in amps of, of, of the loads. This is great. This is, a, this is the criteria. This is why the people ta try to configure the battery banks in higher voltage. The only inconvenience for that configuration of our battery banks in higher voltage is that uh, you need to configure the panels also in higher voltage and you need a lot of space for more panels. Mm. This is the inconvenience. You understand? All right, guys. We are here again in the AC side. And uh, one of the, the most common complaints is uh, I don't have AC power in my short power cable. What is the recommendation number one? Okay, number one is go to the pedestal and verify if you have power in the pedestal. Pay attention, guys. My short power cable enter here. But uh, this outlet depends of this breaker. And this outlet depends of this breaker. Everybody follow me? If I introduce my multimeter here, and I don't have power, verify the breaker, number one. Okay, the breaker is on. However, I don't have power in any of those terminals. Where I need check? You need check, guys. Remember that uh, in the pedestals, you have one bus bar for hotline one, hotline two, neutral, and ground here. Everybody follow me? Okay, you need verify here with the multimeter if in between Hot and neutral, 120. Hot and neutral, 120. Okay, I have power here, but I don't have power here. What is damage? The breaker. The breaker is damaged. In that case, you need to call the administration of the marina and explain to them, hey, my friend, I don't have power here. I verified the pedestal, the pedestal have power probably the breaker is damaged and they replace the breaker for you. Good guys? Number one is verify the power here. All right, look at this. In each hotline, I have one donut. Is the arm reader. Mm -hmm. This is the, the only way that the marina charge with this computer and this hour meter, how many hours of power your consumption. That's the computer for the marina. Yes, of course, you never have access, Arnold, to the to the to this. Okay, I have power. I have power in my pedestal and also the lights here. The lights is with one of the faces. I have power here in the in the cable. However, pay attention in this particular case, immediately I connect the short power here, I have reverse polarity in my panel. My my breakers are off and I have reverse polarity. Excuse me, reverse polarity indicate a short? No, okay. What indicate? That a neutral is the neutral out. and hot are? Yeah, switch. Switch. That's it, not short, yeah. not short. Okay, in this particular case, what happened? Everything is off in my boat. Immediately I connect the short power cable, I have reverse polarity. My wiring in my boat entering in the AC panel is? Let me demonstrate, can I run 
my panel with reverse polarity? Yes. 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 Look at this. Oh, I have power. But what happened? My neutral is hot. Oh, Mr. Lopez, but the light is on or uh, whatever. Yeah, everything is running. It's, yeah, my friend. But hot in this moment is neutral. And the neutral is hot. Of course, everything is start, but with reverse polarity. Look at this. You have reverse polarity. You understand, guys? Tell to me why that condition, reverse polarity, is not good in your boat. Pay attention. In this moment, <laughs> The neutral is hot. What happens if, for some reasons, one electrician, residential electrician, install a new water heater in my boat? A lot of residential electricians, they say that neutral <coughs> and ground is the same, and they put together, or they mix it, neutral with ground. What happens if that electrician enter in my boat? In this moment, my boat have reverse polarity. What happens if tomorrow, one guy, no marine electrician, enter in my boat, install the, the water heater, and put neutral and ground together. The if problem. that guy connects neutral and ground together, and the boat have reverse polarity, what happened with the bonding system right now in my boat? My, my bonding system have current, current. Yeah. 120, and accelerate the corrosion dramatically. My boat will be corroded in, in two days, three days, a lot. Pay attention. What happened if I have that situation? Reverse polarity. The guy visit my boat yesterday and install the water heater and connect neutral and ground together. In this moment, in this moment, my bonding have power. What happened if I let my boat this weekend, this is the long weekend, 4th of July, the boat sink because all the true holes are connected to the bonding. Yeah, the metallic true holes are bonded into the bonding conductor, and the bonding conductor is powered. It's eating away. Hidden. And the water penetrates my boat. 